Most people trying to lose weight would expect to break a sweat, but a researcher in Southern California has a different idea. In fact, he recommends chilling out, literally. Olympian Michael Phelps averaged eating 12,000 calories a day and never gained weight. But surprisingly, exercise wasn't the only reason. Michael Phelps would need to burn, need to do about 10 hours of continuous butterfly stroke to burn 12,000 calories a day. UC Irvine professor Wayne Hayes believes the real fat burning was triggered by the chilly temperature of the pool and its effect on a substance in our bodies known as brown fat. To take advantage of the effect, Hayes designed the cold shoulder. It's an ice vest developed to help patients lose weight. It induces comfortable, mild cold exposure, and our clinical trials suggest that it burns up to 500 calories a day if you wear it twice a day for an hour each. Scientists have known for decades that brown fat cells help small mammals like mice keep their body temperature up by producing heat as they burn calories. The same is true for human babies. And Hayes believes lowering body temperature can trigger the same calorie burning mechanism in adults. Your body has to maintain 98.6 to be healthy, so your, your body will go to whatever measures are necessary. In fact, several major research groups are interested in harnessing the calorie burning power of brown fat. Xiong Ding and his team at San Francisco's Gladstone Institutes are searching for a drug that can turn common white fat, which stores energy, into brown fat, which burns it. Yeah, basically, the, the brown fat, uh, when it's activated, actually can burn the energy stored in the white fat. So, so that actually has an implication for treating, for example, obesity or diabetes. He believes a drug to induce that fat burning effect, known as thermogenesis, could be on the horizon within a decade. Back at UC Irvine, researchers say they've already documented results from the freeze vest in early trials. Test subject Oren Levy says his ratio of body fat dropped from 15 percent down to 12 percent during the trial. I was a little skeptical, you know, it's like, oh, wear a vest, lose weight, you know, sure. Professor Hayes points to a colleague who employed even more extreme methods. He would drink a gallon of ice water every day. He would take cold baths and cold showers. It was painful, but he basically tripled his rate of weight loss.